be additional teaching position which will add more opportunities for promotion among teachers. This, this include teacher 4, teacher 5, teacher 6, teacher 7, and MT5. DepEd has already drafted an executive order to this effect. The alignment of the career line with PPE stages is that it means the teacher would have to demonstrate the expected competency standards for them to be able to get promoted to the corresponding teacher promotion. The teacher progression also features the classification as the sole means of promotion. This means that a teacher need not to wait for natural vacancy to occur for them to get promoted to a higher position as soon as the teachers possess and achieve the expected PPST indicators for teaching position, they could already apply for a classification. It minimizes the teacher to move to central schools just to get promoted, meaning through the class, teachers can progress in their career while staying in schools near these residences. The proposed career progression diverges at MT1 to classroom teaching and school administration career lines. This is to ensure that the specialized teachers and MTs and school heads come from a pool of highly proficient teachers. In this illustration, the teacher career diverges at Master Teacher 1, which means that the teacher is given a chance to choose between alternative career lines in the classroom teaching and school administration. However, if a teacher would choose between uh, these career lines and they are able to exhibit the professional standards for highly proficient teachers, they can go between these two career lines. In terms of function, teachers 1 to 7 should concentrate on the teaching learning process and development towards greater proficiency and possible leadership roles, while empties and school heads should take on instructional supervision and leadership roles. It is necessary that our NAYAP and accredited teacher training service providers should plan and provide L&D interventions that target the expected competencies in career stages. The goal is to move teachers to the next career stage. So what happens to the head teacher? All other positions that are not in the master teacher and teacher nomenclature except for principal will be retitled into equip equivalent SGs in the single line career path. This is how single line career path and retitling of positions is proposed. By rationalizing into a single line career path, DEPED intends to avoid shifting to teaching and school administrative positions as in the current practice. This is to ensure that teachers' progression to higher positions are developmental and in accordance with standards. On the choice of career path, take note that at the base of the career system are the teacher positions, teacher 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. A teacher may be promoted to MT1 position he, can, he may choose to be promoted to MT2 or school principal position subject to applicable qualifications and competency requirement and assessment. A teacher pursuing for promotion to master teacher 2 shall continue upwards in the classroom teaching career line while adopting a career as a school principal shall continue upwards in the school 
administration career line. Switching of career line from classroom teaching to school administration and vice versa shall be allowed provided that the individual seeking changes in career line meets all the necessary qualifications and expected competencies of the position being applied for in the career line. As earlier mentioned, individual seeking change in career line meets all the necessary qualifications and as expected competencies of the position being applied for in the career line, thus embedding the PPST to the proposed reclassification policy. Now, given those opportunities for career advancement, let us compare the current and proposed progression for teachers. How do teachers really get promoted? So currently, our teachers are promoted by two different modes. The natural vacancy, which the teacher has to wait for vacancy due to resignation, retirement, or death. And the reclassification, which is currently based on credentialism rather than competency-based attainment of academic preparation levels and experience as well as training. Reclassification will be the sole means of promotion. No more natural vacancies, as waiting for a natural vacancy wastes teacher capacity to take on bigger roles in schools. Reclass will allow us and our teachers to maximize potential and capacity and that teacher will no longer have to uh, compete with one another they will now have to compete with themselves they only need to beat at their last performance and teachers can also get promoted at their own pace based on their achievement of teaching standards and finally teachers need not transfer to central school just to get promoted however reclassification shall be redefined to align the progression to higher teaching position with the achievement of the ppst indicators the current policy is based on proxy indicators of competencies and credentialism such as educational attainment, training hours, and years of, of experience. The current system assumes that as soon as the teachers acquire higher education, training and experience, they already embody the desired competencies worthy of promotion. Reclass policy will be based on the achievement of professional standards. To become eligible, for a classification, a teacher must satisfy the requirements as presented in the table based on defined career stages. And once teacher applicants meet the QS for the position, they must present their IPCRFs that showcase their proficiency in the indicators as appraised in their performance. And the table specifies the performance requirements for each position. In terms of the selection process, uh, the, sele the reclassification criteria here as basis for the selection process is as well uh, redefined. Upon identifying all the eligible applicants from step one, which is the qualification standards in step two, which is on the submission of performance requirements, the eligible applicants shall undergo the selection process to be conducted by the Human Resource Merit Promotion and Selection Board in the school's division offices. The selection criteria is presented and uh, the HRMPSB shall rank the applicant based on the total score obtained and prepare a teacher for the competency reclassification list which will then be submitted to DBM for approval subject to availability of funds. So uh, as you can see here, all qualified applicants 
who have been ranked shall uh, be provided with the uh, the result of their scores as obtained and as mentioned it should be submitted to uh, DBM 